The modern world pummels us with more information than we can possibly handle. How to sort all this data is a huge problem in many industries. I visited a lab at Columbia University where researcher Paul Scheida is studying how the brain responds to visual stimuli. He's found that every time we see something new, interesting or relevant, our brains respond with a stereotyped electrical signal. So we believe we're mostly keying on something called the P300, which is the positivity in the EEG at around 300 milliseconds after a stimulus. Scheider reads this signal with EEG electrodes that he straps to the scalp of his subjects, which in this case would be me. So we put some uh, gel, so the conductivity with the electrodes in the skin is um, uh, it, it's, it's better, so we get more clear signals. After attaching 64 electrodes to my scalp and checking that they had a clean signal, we started training the computer to read my brain waves. So in a sequence of um, stimuli, if all of a sudden there's a novel stimuli you haven't heard before, you're not necessarily looking for, you'll get a particular type of P300. You know, in that first second, we make, we make very, uh, usually, uh, rapid decisions that are very accurate. So we're detecting essentially the neural correlate of that aha, that's interesting, or that grabs my attention. So the Harvesting this aha moment could prove useful for people who have to quickly sort through lots of data. So we are giving the algorithm some examples of, of your EEG. That's the order that the images are shown to here. Yeah. And the black dots, it represents two images with faces. Pictures streamed by, coral, seals, boats. But I was told to watch for human faces. Every time I saw one, the computer captured my P300 so that it could recognize it later in the experimental session. So there is 25 sessions, so 2,500 images are shown for training, out of which only 50 are actually targets. And this is the reordering, meaning what the classifier thinks is an image and what's not. So just like Google PageRank, you know, if you get a, a thousand hits or whatever, you really only look at the first page, maybe the second page. So it's really important to try to get as many of those things that are interesting to the first couple of pages. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here. But in this, this case, what we're doing is we're saying, instead of using some algorithm based on who's visited the sites or who's looked at these images, how did those images grab your attention? In the experimental session, I was again presented a random series of pictures. But this time, the computer didn't know which ones were human faces. It relied on my neural output to decide. Then, it moved the images with the strongest response to the top of the heap. So that's you know, how the uh, original sequence uh, was presented to you. These are um, targets. Most of them are reordered you know, to the very front. I don't know if the credit goes to me or the machine, but it worked pretty well. 0.9, you yeah. for the... I can be an image analyst. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that, but uh, no, no, certainly you are qualifying for it. After you went over 100 images from the resorted list, you capture most of the targets. If you go 300, you are skipping only two or three uh, targets that you are missing. As opposed to if you would have to go in every image in the resorted list, you have to look 2,500 images in order to come even close to, to that. If I relaxed, it worked more, and also if I if I tra trained myself to be to not be distracted by the ones that didn't have information, mm -hmm. and it was yes, it worked better. After Shida developed the idea, DARPA began funding his and other similar labs. But Shida isn't just interested in making life easier for image analysts. I mean, we're really trying to understand how how the brain does this. There are still major problems to be solved before this device is right. <laughs> Although it sped up my ability to sort data, I got tired much quicker. And when the cap came off, it felt like caramel had been dripped over my head. But if we are to deal with the deluge of data that's speeding its way towards us down the information highway, we may have to put up with a bit of discomfort.